we do have someone who I've been waiting to jump on. I know he had a, an audible in his schedule, as always. It must be the time zone difference, and although I think he's in the same time zone as me. But I would have none other than uh, Mr. Ian Stepler, the man, the myth, the legend. How are you, Ian? Good. I'm doing very well. Uh, how are you? I'm doing excellent. How are things up north? Well, we're going through a little bit of a mild spell right now, so we're getting some work done, so that's nice. How about yeah. your side of the country? Same, you know, so we're we're still seeing that kind of warm, cold day, warm, cold day. So we get a day where we can go out and do stuff and then a yeah. day when we, we have to lock it down. So um, nothing like you, though. The temperatures, I think, still are still mild comparatively. Um, yeah, we were yeah. seeing some minus 12s last week, uh, about two weeks uh, Celsius, but yeah. two weeks, um, maybe cold weather. We haven't got a lot done, but the hives are ready for winter anyway. So now it's a little bit mild. We're able to get some strips out and some oxalic, and then maybe I bet you I have them in indoors by November 1st. So things are coming along here. That's awesome. No, I'm, I'm glad that you're... Um... You're trying to get some time out there in the field and trying to get things done. I've time. I'm glad that you had five minutes for me to do this stream because I'm humbled by the opportunity <laughs> to jump in. I messaged you. You know what's funny though is I messaged you both for the collaboration video over a year ago, and I messaged you for this stream. And both times, I will tell you, Ian didn't hesitate. Ian's like, "Sure, what do you need? I'll help out. No problem. What do you need?" <laughs> and, and that's that's a testament to you, man. It's a testament that as big as your channel is, as big as your following is, as big as you are within the world of beekeeping, you know, you, you'll like help out everybody. You, hey, what, what do you need? I'll help out. And you've got time to do that. You will know you don't have time to do it, but you find time to do it. And that's awesome. That says a lot. You know, I appreciate the kind words. Uh, I just want to congratulate you on the growth of the channel. I appreciate uh, how much work it is to do something like this. And it's, uh, it's not an easy task, especially mm -hmm. like continuous and then sustaining some mm -hmm. content throughout the channel for such a long time. So carry on the good work. I appreciate that. Well, how about this? Well, could I get a little bit of word of wisdom from you since you definitely have put out a tremendous amount of content over the years? What would you say is your tip for that person who's trying to start out to, to kind of grow their channel? What would you say is the thing they should focus on in your mind? For anything that anybody wants to do, you need a purpose in doing that, right? What's your purpose mm -hmm. in making these channel, these uh, videos? My purpose is to communicate what I've learned and experienced in beekeeping with the community. That's my purpose. I mean, I, it's something yeah. that I, I, I know that we joke, you know, Mike Berry talks about the, the cliche about how to videos and this is how I do videos kind of thing. But at the end of the day, I, I never wanted to make a, a how to video. I almost wanted to make it as just sharing my experience. There's so much information in beekeeping, so much knowledge and so much contradictory information too. It's yeah. different from region to region and, keeper to keeper that I just wanted to share what I was experiencing, right. And yeah. share what I had. If there were local ones near me that benefited from that, great. If someone was just taking it in and saying, Hey, that's great content, you know, may not apply to me, but um, I want to, you know, I'm listening to it still. That was great too. And that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I know there's not 10,000 beekeepers in my little community here. I know there's not. So I know that those 10,000 subscribers or people that follow my channel um, are, are all over. Right. And that's, that's humbling. That's awesome. Cause they're just, you know, they're watching and supporting from afar, which is kind of yeah. cool. Just like with any other type of business, run the YouTube channel, like a business too, you hinge on mm -hmm. that purpose and then you get through, you know, points of time that you're maybe not as enthusiastic or some motivated, you just, you know, put everything together to what mm -hmm. you are trying to achieve. So I think if you have that in mind, you'll be successful moving forward. And also speaking to somebody, who do you speak to? So, I, you know, I had a, a mentor that I wish, in hindsight, I wish I would have invited him to this stream because I know that he may, you know, he's not a technical guy, but I had a mentor that I followed for a couple of years that was patient with me as I asked all the dumb questions and, you know, over the questions that I'm sure that he's probably heard a million times. And I'm humbled by the opportunity to be able to work with him. And his name is Mike Brown. Um, oh, yeah. he, he's not an active in the YouTube social media community. He's just a, a local guy that's built some, you know, had some beehives. And and he taught me most of the stuff that I know. But, you know, I take from a lot of different points, right? I take it from people that are both, um, you know, in, you know, as a mentor, but also in the YouTube community and your, people like yourself. But I take from all where I can get information from and the bees, especially I say that a lot, watch your bees, learn from your bees because they're the best mentor. 
at the end of the day. Nice. Yep. And what do you do with the, uh, what do you call these people? The, uh, the negative, the criticism, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you, yeah, I'm sure you get some too, because every YouTube channel has them. What, pay, what's your pay, strategy for that? Yeah. I, you know, I pay them no mind. I mean, cause I think if you give them time, then they just, they just, they thrive on it. Right. So yeah. there's a lot of times where I've had a few comments that have come across a few of my posts that, you know, I, I sit and I mull over and I spend a half hour or an hour thinking how I'm going to craft the right comeback. Right. And then I take a step back and I think, was that even worth it? What I, what would I gain by having that comeback or, or, or saying my piece? It, it's, it, it gives them, it gives them credence where it doesn't deserve to give them credence. So I just ignore it. I mean, yeah, can, what I do is I, I put all the hate. I do get some hate because it's funny enough. I didn't think of this when I first got into beekeeping, but beekeeping is very political. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You can just dive down rabbit holes so easy. And I do. I do all the time. And sometimes I do it when I'm up in front of people speaking at these conventions. And it's like, holy shit, what did I just say? And it makes people angry. So what I do <laughs> is, uh, like, I hold my ground all the time because I speak. I believe what I speak. Um, I just take all the criticism, all the hate, all the anger. And I put it up on a little shelf beside me as a, on my trophy case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I champion it. So there you go. You know, you, you're going to reach all types, right? So you reach uh, the good and the bad and the ugly. That's and right. you just have to be able to manage the bad and the ugly. Because those are the, the two that really get to guys. It's yeah. just how do you manage that type of uh, feedback? You know, uh, YouTube can be an echo chamber. You will look through your comments and you'll have all this, you know, praise and and everything around you and you think you feel pretty good. And then that one comment comes through right up the middle and just smacks you across the face and you can't forget about that comment all day. <laughs> so that's the comment. I just uh, put it on the trophy case as a little victory that I, I reached yeah. somebody else. He spent the time. I said, Oh, thanks for watching my video. You know, you made me some money. So it's yeah. just, uh, that's all there is to it. So I think you're doing a good job. Yeah, kill, as my mother used to say, kill him with kindness, right? Just throw out something <laughs> and just, just, just smile and say, thanks for the comment. I appreciate it. Right. And they're like, wait a minute. I wanted to come back. No, you didn't get that. You're not getting that. <laughs> Right, put that yeah. on myself back here. Right, exactly. That's that's yeah. great. So, anyway, sir, we, YouTube. I have a purpose, and I have an audience, and I deal with my criticism. And I think that's that's what I do to make these that's things. The so, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. No, I, I'm I'm glad that uh to see you know the success of all the individual personalities that I follow over the years, you know, including yourself in this space, being able to communicate their message in the way they want to present it. And for us to have just a great community of people. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. Yeah. This um, YouTube thing is quite an impressive, I like, I wish I would have had this when I first started into beekeeping, cause I could have just mm -hmm. dove into this perspective and just absorbed it all. And I might've either, I might've got myself in more trouble or I think I, what I would have done, I, I probably would have got myself, out of trouble quicker just by having a bit of guidance from guys. Like I just before I sat down here, I noticed Cayman was on for a bit and like mm -hmm. these guys are reaching to beekeepers and giving them some really good, solid content. I was at a, uh, a convention in BC at the BC Hunting Producers Association meeting. And this fellow come up to me at the end of the convention, shook my hand. He wanted to shake my hand. He said, oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. He, he told me, he said uh, he used to work for beekeepers and now he's not working. He's bought his own hives, his 300 hives or whatever, and he's in pollination. And, and he's just working hard, trying to make things work. And he, he said, I think, and this is very intimidating for a guy like me. He just shake my hand and said, thank you for everything you do. You are the reason why I'm beekeeping right now. It's like, whew. wow. <laughs> it's like, wow. uh, yeah, that humbles a guy. I mean, holy yeah. shit. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I think what I'm doing is just providing <laughs> <some> perspective <laughs> yeah. and, you know, just showing maybe, you know, everybody has their own little thing when they do in their YouTube channels. Mine is like behind the scenes, a commercial beekeeper, uh, just everything that goes on, the good, bad and the ugly mm -hmm. kind of thing again. And just, you know, just helping me guy, that guy down the way. So anyway, right. It's a lot mm -hmm. of fun. And I, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to keep on doing this, but uh, I'll just ride the wave as long as there's a wave to ride. <laughs> yeah, I mean to that. I mean, that's, that's the right way to look at it though. So yes. Yeah. No? I, yeah. That, I, so I'll, I'll let you get on to your next guest. So I appreciate you having me on here. Uh, it's quite no, flattering. Thank you. Thank you, Ian, for the time that you're giving us. Um, I'm humbled by the opportunity for you to jump on even for a few minutes and, 
you know, people go out. To, if you haven't seen Ian's uh, YouTube channel, he, you know, the, the Canadian Beekeepers blog, it's an amazing amount of content that just follows from a different perspective um, and allows you to see some, you know, another man like yourself, like Ian, to to be able to uh, share his experiences in beekeeping, much like we do here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, but in a different world. Now, we say beekeeping is local. Well, there's a great opportunity to see another person and how they handle beekeeping, the ups and the downs. Believe me, it's not an easy hobby or easy commercial business to run. Um, there are ups and downs that we all deal with. And to see Ian's and to see mine and others that are in the, the social media circuit of YouTube or what have you, um, it's just a great, keeps it in perspective, keeps you humble and keeps you in perspective. So, so thanks yeah, Ian, again for coming on. I plan on being to Hive Life this year. So third time's a charm, right? I should be able to make it this time. And awesome. Cayman said they're promising me Tim Horton's coffee in the back room. So that's. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go, right? That's your invite well, only, right? There Laurel you go. said she's getting it for me. Cayman told me he was going to get me full, full jersey. <laughs> oh, geez. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Very good. See you very around, good. Jason. Keep in touch. Thank Thanks. you very much, Ian. I appreciate you coming on. All right. Well, there you go. Right from. Uh, from up in Canada, the man himself. Uh, we've got uh, a continued great show here. We're running about five, ten minutes behind. My laptop that I'm running on keeps giving me an alert.